Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing us how to prepare income and expenses account using Microsoft Excel. Like I usually say, if you are new to this channel, kindly please like and subscribe. Most especially subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the turn on the notification bell so that you can get more videos as time goes on relating with Microsoft Excel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will add value to you. So now we'll be showing us how to prepare income and expenditure account using Microsoft Excel. So let us get started. So in this new is the, in this blank new Excel worksheet, I want to prepare an income and expenditure account from the scratch using Excel. So the first thing you need to do is to type the name of the organization. Let us say the name of the organization is ABC Nigeria Limited. ABC Nigeria Limited. Then we have income and expenditure account, income and expenditure account for the for the month of November 2022 so I will do some basic formatting but before then then you are going to come here and say revenue revenue then we have dates dates reference number reference number narration narration that is like the description of what we are trying to do narration then we have the amount so we can put a error sign here n n representing the amount so we we'll leave a space i'll show you why we leave a space then we can copy this control c and we we'll paste it here control v i'm leaving a space here so let me just click on this place and bold everything you can see it right now so let me increase this so that we can we can all see so i'm preparing an income and switch account using microsoft excel now the first thing i need to do is to bold this also bold this also bold this and also bold this and uh, I'll come here and type expenditure expenditure so I'll also come here and I'll also bold this are we together so I'll click on here and I'll increase it I'll increase the I'll increase it I'll click on here I'll also increase it increase it to like 16 I'll click on here I'll also increase it so I'll italize this so let me merge and center merge and center I light it merge and center I light your data sets and also merge and center so I'll click on here also merge and center I like this merge and center now I'll show you why I said we should leave it, this uh, column so I would reduce this column so that I can easily put a color there so let me just put a color so we can see let me put say red yeah I love red colors so this N let me edit this N I'll click on this at the back then I'll press alt alt your alt key enter just watch you then I'll press enter again two times so I'll come here let's do it again click here Go to the go to the back of that your n go to the back of that your n and press alt enter enter then i'll say enter alt enter yeah so let me reduce this let me reduce this sorry i pressed alt enter enter twice so 
I'm gonna go correct that now. It's supposed to just be alt enter once. So I'll go back. I'll go back. Sorry about that. So I'll just okay, it has already been adjusted. Please you press alt enter. Let me do it again. A M A M O U N T space N space N. Then I'll just click behind the N and press Alt Enter. Then click away. Alt Enter. Then click away. So everything has been adjusted. So let me delete this. So sorry about that. So I'll just click everything and centralize. So I've click everything and, and I've centralized. So let me reduce the low height. Yes. So it is looking nice now. Let me increase the narration. You know that's where the description of the transaction will be imputed. Let me, let me increase this. Let me also increase this. Let me increase this. You understand? All this one they are just basic formatting. Increase this and increase this left click and drag. Don't forget. Now we are done. So I can still increase this if I want, or I just let me just leave it like this. So ABC Nigeria Limited, I can still increase this if I want. So let me reduce it. Let me leave it like this. ABC Nigeria Limited income and expenses expenditure account for the month of November 2022. So I will, let me highlight everything. Let me highlight everything. Click here and uh, put all borders. So let me make it red. This place. Yeah, it's looking nice now. Let me change this color of the revenue. Let me change it to. Let me change it to. Let me change it to light blue. Yes, it's looking nice now. So let me make here. Let me make it blue. Let me make it blue itself. And let me make it blue itself. So. Let me change the color. You go to that A and change it to white. So you can see now it's looking nice. Let me still reduce this. Alright, so it's looking nice now. Alright. So now we are going to have the dates. The dates. So let's say the first date is first of November 2022. Second date is let me increase this the date is not showing let me increase this so anytime you see anytime you see this it doesn't mean that it exists from you just go to your column and double tap and you see or you expand the column so first of november 2022 second of november 2022 and probably maybe fourth of november 2022 so enter so on the narration let's say i want to use one two three four zero you know that may be your invoice number enter so i will just let me just fill this one so automatically and say flash fill the fill series so job me fill one two three four one one two three four two so i use fill series so you just let me do it again so once you have done for one two three four zero and i want to get many one in another lead number so I'll just let's click and drag and click on this small portion and say few series so as I demonstrated it so now the narration let me just copy what is here Control C so you can type it and um, Control V so well you can type all these things but because of time so I will just let me expand this expand this yeah so balance brought forward that is the balance for the previous month maybe the balance you know this is november so your balance brought forward can be the balance carried down or, or the previous balance for those of us that cannot account this today the previous balance that remain in october so we now bring it to november can we see it so that's just it. the amount let me just copy the amount here control c and uh, control v so these are the amounts. So I told you anytime you see these things, 
it means that the column is not wide enough so we wide it so change the let me change everything to calibre yes the text let me change the text to calibre so we have filled this one now the next thing we want to fill is the you want to fill for the expenses so so for the expenses the reference number we can use for the expenses let's give it let's give it a date let's say Let's say for the expenses now, let us come here and copy the narration. So, control C, come here, Alt V. So, you can type all these things. I know this is just a practical video. So, okay. So, let me expand this and income and expenses account. Alright. So, now we are done. So, the narration, let us say the narration for the expenses, we decided to use 234001. So like we, I want to use flash field. We don't want to write two three four zero zero two two three four zero zero three. So I'll just I'll just come here, go to this portion and drag down. Now it's gonna give you two three one one everything one one but don't 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 worry. Just click on the field series. Are we there? So it's gonna change it to it's gonna help you arrange it one, two, three, four, like that. Just like we, we explained the other day that Monday, if you want to be typing Tuesday, Wednesday just left click and drag it's going to feel for you so the same way it works with numbers all right so we are done with that the date now i can just let me just give it any name let me say from here 31st or 30th of november 2022 so yeah let me just control c and then control v so yeah let me just say fifth of November and um, let me just left click and drag I don't want to waste time so it's going to give me then I will tell it to fill series for me now say few days sorry control Z yeah let me say sixth of let me just type it I, 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 I actually know what is wrong but you know this is just a basic you know class so i really don't really want to take some things advance because we have all got dates formatting in excel so let me not go there so that's why i'm just doing this for us so the idea is just to you know carry everybody along all right so even a beginner would appreciate the fact that he or she knows excel so that's just it 2022 so i'm done so let me just copy the figures that are here ctrl c come here and uh, ctrl alt v let me just paste the values so okay yeah now you'll be wondering how do we get 0 0.00 just highlight your data set and click on this comma give it a comma and the point zero zero and if you want to remove the point zero zero you can also remove it so let me make everything 11 12 let me make everything 11 yeah so let me also still increase this are we together so it's looking nice now the, the next thing we are going to do is to total is to say total income total total income are we together so total income click here and then we bold this total income so for the total income equals to sum sum after that how to sum equals to sum open a bracket left click and drag then press enter you understand so the same way equals to sum open a bracket left click this place and drag to b to i18 then enter or oh, there's another short code i taught us last week if you can remember let me just delete this if i don't want to type it manually 
what I'll do is that I'll come here, highlight everything, even the last column I want the answer to be, and come to auto sum and click on sum. It's going to give me the answer. Can you see? It will input the formula itself. So the same way, I'll highlight this place, even the place I want the answer to be. I'll say auto sum, auto sum, then I'll say sum to give me the answer already. So are we getting it now? So that's how you do that. Then let me bold this. And let me also bold this. And let me type here. Total expenses. So let me also bold this. So total expenses. Let me give it a nearer sign so that let me put this as underline. And let me also put this as underline so that it has this double underline. So let me give it a error sign. So I'll come to here, I'll come here, I'll come to this dollar sign, I'll click on it, I'll go to more accounting format. I'll be there, then I'll click on this symbol here, this arrow here, then I'll look for the Nigerian, then I'll scroll down, I'll look for the Nigerian way, the Nigerian currency. I'll look for the Nigerian currency. I think I've passed it. Let me go up. I'll look for the Nigerian currency. I'll look for the Nigerian currency. So I've seen it. So we have Igbo Kanuri. So far you are seeing error sign. Anyone you decide to you can use Yoruba, you can use Igbo. So let me just use Yoruba for this one and say okay. Can you see? The same routine you did. Click on here. Let me show those of us that did not get it. More accounting format. Click on this place and look for scroll down and um, this time around let me use Ibo to tell you that it's the same thing. Okay, can we see it now? So there's no difference. So whether Ibo or our currency is currency. So this is how to prepare an income and expenses account using Microsoft Excel. So the next thing we need to do is to let me show you how I prepared how I got all these things. So I will come here and type total income so instead of me to type it let me just click here ctrl c and uh, ctrl v so we have total income let me give you a border too so that this border will be there so now total income what is my total income equals to i will just tap here enter so at the end time you see this thing it means that the column width is not enough so you drag can you see then you bold it again you understand can we see total income total total expenses total income how did i get this total income now remember that the total income has already been calculated for us here so all i just need to do is to link it and say equals to then go and click on this cell left click on this cell so that is we are saying equals to d19 what is d19 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 is where our answer is that is equals to this answer then enter so anything that is here any figure that changes here it will change here let's try it let us say i change here to the computer training fee is fifteen thousand let's say the computer training fee is fourteen thousand watch you enter can you see 179 179 it will change automatically are we together so let's say i change here to to 250,000. watch you just watch you this place we change this place we change and this place is also changed so enter can we see it now so that's how you prepare it mm -hmm. then the next thing we are going to have is now we want to determine whether here will be surplus or deficit in accounting if income is greater than expenses let me just judge something for us down here if income is look for your keyboard and greater than expenses we say surplus But if income is less than expenses, if income is less than expenses, we say it is what? Deficit. Are we together? If income is greater than expenses, we say it is surplus. But if income is less than expenses, we say it is what? It is deficit. Now let us now let us demonstrate that now we are going to use an if function to 
tell Excel to automate this place. So we are going to say equals to if we are going to use an if function equals to if open a bracket if this place which represent our total income this figure here is greater than shift your greater than is greater than this figure here it's greater than these expenses if income is greater than expenses comma then we look for apostrophe then we write surplus then we put a quotation we we'll cover it otherwise if in if this place if total income is greater than total expenses the figure is greater than total expenses we say surplus otherwise can you see the if e function says the logical test the logical test is the criteria that is if this place is greater than this place we say surplus that is the value if true now what if it is not greater than then we say we then we say shift our double quotation then we say deficit deficit then we close our quotation then we close our bracket that is if income is greater than expenses surplus otherwise deficit then we press enter can you see it is surplus how do you know it is surplus because why this 279 is greater than 268 now let me test something for us let us see this expenses now is 500,000 the expenses is 500,000 you are going to see that this surplus will change to deficit once i press enter let's assume that this total expenses now is 500,000 you know 500,000 is greater than 279 it will change to deficit now because expenses is now greater than income so our criteria will work just watch it to change to deficit. let me just press enter can you see it has changed to deficit so i've bring it back to surplus so let me highlight this place and uh, put it here do we understand now so that is how it works now how can you get the balance of this place let me underline this place so it will be underlined so how can you get the balance of this place? the balance is equals to that's what we that's what we wrote here control c and uh, control v value now i like this place to this place and margin center it also board it also italize it increase it and reduce it okay now our total balance for the month is how can we get the total balance for the month equals to income minus that is this place minus then you tap on this place expenses i20 minus i19 so you say enter so 252,000 then you bought it also so what will be your ba total balance then you highlight this place and you also merge and center and you can underline it as well so that any figure i put here so how can we know our total balance i've put the formula here income minus expenses so i'll just come here and say equals to I will just link this place that is here since the formula is already here then i'll say enter so can we see so let me remove this on down i don't like it so we can just see both then we can we can leave this one like this so we can boot it then we can we can just click here and choose bottom border so that it will underline it for us so can we see so income minus S so our surplus is the same thing as our balance if it is deficit here we change to deficit so we are seeing that ah in this our month of no november we have a surplus you understand so this and this is the balance so it is this surplus when we are preparing another income and expenditure account for december it is this surplus that will now be our balance brought forward do we understand so that's what we mean in accounting that is the balance of a previous month when you are preparing an account for a new month, you are going to bring that balance over. Do we understand now? So, I total balance for the month. So, let me just show us how I prepare this one. Accounting officer, control C, come here and put it here, control and V. So, value and say OK. So, I will just highlight this. I'll say control C control v so let me delete this now 
I will just click here and bold it. I can also italize it. So I highlight here and click on this border and use bottom border. I want it to be bottom. So I'll click on it. I'll go to the up and click on then I'll highlight this place, margin center. Can we see it? So the same way, then I can say name, sign, and date. Let me just copy this text. Control C, place it under it. Control Alt V value then say ok then I'll just highlight it and merge and center can we see it now so let me just highlight everything control C and um, let me place it here control V so but instead of accounting officer here I can I will now say general manager so that when we print this thing the person can sign on it so general manager so that is how so here too i can also italize this click here and italize it i can reduce here to be 10 so that it will be small then reduce here to, to be 10 that it will be small so that's how you can prepare an income and expenditure account look at it it is looking nice that's how you can prepare an income and expenditure account using microsoft excel for this surplus i use the for this surplus i use the e function if income is greater than expenses that is if income is greater than expenses surplus otherwise deficit so that's what i use I, I use this criteria that is here so and the total balance i just link it to this place because income minus expenses then we know our balance so instead of me retyping the formula again i just link it to this place look at it let me show you show us again equals to click on this place enter so any figure that is showing here is what we show here let's, let's assume i enter 300 here you see it will show here so that's the meaning of to link a cell to one another so i can link cells to one another so this is how to prepare an income and expenditure account using microsoft excel once again if you are new to this channel kindly please subscribe to my youtube videos as i have more valuable content to release like this thank you and god bless you and also before i go this template i will be dropping it in the link in the description box of this video Below so that you can download it and use for your business please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and god bless you and also the link to this video will be will be will be will be, will be i will put the link to this video in the, in the description box below thank you and god bless you i remain emmanuel a data analyst a microsoft excel expert god bless you